everybody, this is Strategy Wizard. This is my son Nathan. Hello. And today we're going to be reviewing a kids game called Race to the Treasure. It's for ages five and up, two to four players, takes around 20 minutes. That's, that's what the box says. I, it's, that's probably pretty close, but it really could be quicker if everyone's going to a good clip and depending on, you know, the kids, how they're doing. But this game, I didn't know a lot about it other than it was cooperative and I decided to go ahead and get it for Nathan for Christmas just to see if he would like it. And, you know, it was a big gamble. But now we're going to go ahead and go to the table. We're going to see how it plays, and I'll let you know what I think of it personally from an adult's perspective, and then we'll talk about Nathan's uh, opinion as well. So let's go ahead and go to the table and see how to play. Okay, so this is what Race to the Treasure looks like once you're done setting up. It's just the board, these tiles right here, four keys, and ogre snacks. And these stack of tiles and two dice. The dice you only use for the initial setup so that these are randomly distributed. You roll them and then the number and letter that comes up decides the location for each piece. So you'll roll, place one, then roll and place one. Now the actual meat of the game is turning over these tiles and trying to make a path. You're trying to make it from the start to the end before the ogre does and this is how it's going to work. So it's cooperative but one player can play if they want to, but it's, let's, let's uh, go ahead and do this. Really, it's designed for more than one. Theoretically, as you're helping your kids make decisions. They're having to decide what the best way is to make the path, and we'll go ahead and get started now. Nathan, go ahead and draw a tile. Okay, so we have a... Okay, here we go. So, starting off, we have two ways to go. Then I'm going to draw a tile. I only have one path to take. I can go down or right. For right now, we'll go down. Okay, go ahead and draw a tile. Okay. Okay, so when there's an ogre, the ogre is going to be moving. Every time you draw one, you're going to put it in the next slot. And if it gets here first, then we will lose. Now I'm going to draw. Okay, we have a bend here. I'm going to bend down this way. Okay, Nathan. There's a straight. Okay, so this is where the decision making comes in. It's whenever you can kind of help your kids figure out what the right thing to do is. Doing this makes it to where getting this key will be very hard because the only way you could do is if you looped back and around, you could move this up here for now and hope that you get another T here so you can go down both directions. It's a gamble because you are in a hurry. You don't want to waste too many tiles because the ogre, depending on the distribution here, it, it could be they could he could go pretty quickly. But right now we'll go ahead and let Nathan take his choice here and maybe it'll work out. Okay, so I get a T. I'm going to do this. This will give us that chance to come back around. Go ahead, Nathan. Okay. Oops. So... Okay, so right now we can get our first key. Where do you want to put it? You have two choices that are really good. They're both good, but it's your choice. Let's see. I think we should go this way. Or this way. That, that's what I would do. Yeah, let's do that. And that way we can try to get that key. So then I'll turn over. Okay, I'm going to put mine right here. This claims a key, and we put it down here. You'll notice there's three slots. There's four keys, but we only need three to unlock the bag of treasure. It's just a little extra. Yeah, just in that way you don't have to get all of them. It makes it to where you have a little more flexibility. So now, Nathan, go ahead and turn over another one. That's so that's a bag. Okay, another ogre. He's getting closer. Okay, a T. It's two possibilities. I think I'm going to do this. Okay, Nathan, your turn. Um, wait, I want, I want to talk about something. Go ahead. Well, you see these three little uh, locks? See, that's how you know it only takes three keys to unlock it. So it kind of makes it a little easier. Well, yeah, it makes it. It's logical. It makes sense that the three that you need three keys because there's three locks. Right. Okay, so now go ahead and pull a tile. So let's see what we get. Oh, we could get the ogre snacks, but I would go, just go for that key. Well, either way, we can get the key. So I would go like this. Okay. You can do that. That's not where I would have played, but it is still a good play to go ahead and get another key. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we can move that way again. Now this, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to come get these ogre snacks. Go ahead, Nathan. Mm, we can move diagonally. So I'll just get these 
over snacks. Okay, but look how you how you orientate this thing because we don't want to go back this way. We oh. would rather have more options for going this way. So let's go ahead and play it that way. Now here's the thing, whenever you get the ogre snacks, one of the ogres gets removed because it's like he's getting slowed down by some good food. So we'll and, go ahead and, and toss him out of the way. And so he's just down forever. Now we're going to, now we only need one more key, so we can pretty much ignore this one at this point. So we're just going to focus on getting down to the key and getting out. So let's see. So you see this is diagonally conduct. So we would go down, so now we're getting closer to the end, and she's way left behind. Oh, if we have another one of these, I don't really know it really matters so much. We're going to do this. Okay. Ooh, well, oh, well, now that's a bad. But right now we still have, we're still pretty far ahead. We did this, last key, now all we have to do is make it to the end. Okay, go ahead, Nathan. Let's see, we could either go That'd be perfect. this way. Now all we need is, a, is anything will work, and now we win. So in this case, we did we actually did really well. This is about probably the best we've ever done. But that shows you basically how to play the game. It's really quick and very. yeah, super quick and pretty basic. I mean, the very very basic rules, but it's still good for helping kids understand you know direction and kind of like geography they, kind of kind of stuff. So like, let's like go ahead and oh go ahead, Nathan. Like if you have one. Have one what? have a kid. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, if you have any kids, yeah, it'll you can help use this as a teaching tool. So let's go ahead and go back up and we'll um we'll talk about what we really think. Is it really worth buying? Um we'll talk about that in a second. We will. Have a good Okay, so now that we've showed you how to play the game, let's talk about is it really worth it? Is it good for kids? Component quality, what is it like? Component quality is great. I mean, it's not the best in the world, but, but still, these are sturdy cardboard pieces. The dice made of wood with nice rounded corners, which is which I like a lot. And, you know, the board's nice quality. As far as the gameplay goes, you know, it's very simple. It's definitely not for adults, but it works pretty well for kids because it gets them thinking about, you know, prioritizing the path the as they reveal the tiles. Well, yeah, for little kids... Yeah, you know, they got the ABCs and the numbers, so if you have a little kid watching y'all play, like you can water say, water oh, what? can you do those numbers and those letters? And it kind of helps you know about the numbers. Yeah, and with the grid, you know, Nathan's gotten better with placing things on the grid. At first, it was, when we first got it, it was harder for him to understand how the grid worked whenever you roll the dice. Now he knows how to line them up every time. And, you know, pri like I say, prioritizing the path, trying to figure out, you know, what do you want to make a detour to go get this hard-to-get key, or do you want to just try to plow to the end, and you might miss all the keys that you need. Now, I mean, there's it, there are choices to be made. It is mostly luck. But for a kid's game and a cooperative game, that's somewhat understandable. Um, I think that the main problem with the game is that the ogre tiles, there's ten of them, and there's only eight uh, slots that they have to go through to, for you to lose, the distribution of these tiles can really mess you up or it can make it too easy. But for example, the game you just saw us play, it was very easy. We weren't even close to losing. And on the other hand, if they're really high up in the stack, if you just shuffle them randomly, you never know where they're going to end up. It could be too hard or, or impossible. So the one way to mitigate that is to purposely, before you shuffle, try to you know, mix them in relatively evenly. That way there's no chance of being slaughtered. But that's personal preference, however you want to set it up. But in my opinion, overall, yes, it is a good kids game. It does a lot of things as far as, you know, giving kids a chance to think about choices, orientation of their tiles, especially the tees. I like that a lot. So, Nathan, what did you think? Did you like this game? I liked it a lot. Okay. What would you rate it out of 10 stars? Mm. Nine, ten. Nine out of ten? Nine out of ten. Okay. And me personally, for kids, I think I would rate it probably 8.5 out of ten. No, it's ten. Ten, ten. Ten out of ten? Ten out of ten. Oh, okay. Well, you really like it. And I can and I can see why he likes it, because it is quick. It's really fast. And even if you lose, it's not that big of a deal, because you go right back, you play it again, and have a good time. It's You can play it as many times as you want. Yeah, and it's easy setup, too. Easy setup, really fast play. I like it. He likes it. Um, hopefully, y'all learned enough about it to get an idea of if y'all would like it for your family. And if you have any questions or anything else, leave it in the comments and I'll answer them as soon as I can. One last thing, just a, a, a nice little uh, bonus, I guess. 
this the inside of the lid is the um, instructions. Yeah, this is the instructions, which I like that a lot. And that just goes to show you just how simple the instructions are. Very simple. Very so simple. mainly the idea is it's fun, it's quick, it's light, good kids game, and I I'm glad I bought it. I think it was worth it. So it's all good. It's all good. Okay. Well, we appreciate you watching, and uh, have a good day. Have a good day.